Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm feeling lazy today. Let's install the small one. Kamaholic channel everybody today we are installing another molly panel for the truck specifically the side bed molly panel system the full setup from cali raised led there may come a day where i will run out of molly panels to install to the truck but it is not this day okay guys i'm going to go over the install of this molly panel in just a second and that is very straightforward so you'd be happy to hear that just wanted to show you what it looks like in all of its glory it does come powder coated from Cali Rays. Now this is the front panel and the rear panel. You can get the full set like that, or you can just buy the front by itself or the rear by itself, I believe, even though when it actually mounts, the rear panel just bolts once on top right there with that T-nut and then two bolts right here. So if you did not have the front panel, I guess it would just be the bolt on the top and the rubber bump stops behind there, sort of keeping it secure to the side of the bed, but that might be an option you could go with. Plenty of pre-drilled holes here to mount stuff in addition to the molly grid, of course. I'll go over what I actually have mounted on mine after the install, so stay tuned for that. Okay guys, first step. This should be a very straightforward install. Just a few bolts to get this together, but since I do have the front and rear panel, the first step is to go ahead and attach these. They are folded like an L bracket right there with two holes, so go ahead and use the supplied hardware to get these two attached together. And next we are going to go ahead and prep the mounting area. Go ahead and remove both of your bed cleats if you have those installed just to get them out of the way. Then you will have four T30 Torx bolts to remove. The top two on your storage bin right there. And then the two holding the hook in right here. You will lose the functionality of this. I suppose you could always drill into this if you really wanted to attach it. But of course you have all these mounting points anyway. With those four Torx bits removed. With those four Torx with those four Torx bolts removed. That is hard to say. Try saying that five times fast. We do have three T-nuts to install in the bed rail right there. Go ahead and pop off both of the end caps right here and here. Don't lose those. Those are expensive if you didn't know. I think they're like 30 bucks if you get genuine Toyota ones. And here are the three mounting points for all the T-nuts. So go ahead and get those roughly into position and ignore the birds up here who are doing some kind of bizarre mating ritual. Mine. There are three of these rubber bumpers to install. I've already done the one right here. They go on the rear panel. If you're doing the passenger side, the rear panel, there's one right there. And then two right there. I think I'm missing one of these longer bolts. So I'm gonna reach out to Cali Rays and see if they can get one of these out to me. But I do have the washers and nylocks for the other one. The way this orients, this will be on the back with the rounded off side to the bottom. This will just protect the side of your bed from getting scratched or anything and you orient this with the Allen key coming out towards the front of the rack with the washer and nylock and get that tightened down. So I'm just gonna install the second one, I guess on the bottom corner right here, that way I can simply loosen up the top and hopefully get this back in there and install that when I get that extra bolt. And next we are gonna actually start getting the rack into place. You are gonna reuse those two of the T30 Torx bolts that were on top of your cubby right here. I actually have mine with like one of the V-ring or D-rings in them. You can still use those obviously. Just going to get the rack into position and get these hand tightened so it'll hold on there and then just attach all the larger bolts with the t-nuts across the top and here's a quick shot of the installed product got the three t-nut bolts across the top all installed the two on the panel right here and even though i'm still missing the bottom rubber bumper back here this thing is very solid you can see even pushing on it it barely moves and of course plenty of clearance if you do plan on getting the rear Cali Ray's Molly panel, which I, of course, highly recommend. Now, usually when installing Molly pa now usually when installing Molly panels like this, I always recommend if you know what you're going to mount and where you're going to mount it, go ahead and do that beforehand, just because it's much easier while you have access to the rear of the panel before you get everything bolted down. But since this one is literally just five bolts holding it on, I'm not too worried about it. I can add some quick fists on there in no time easy to pull off which is why I'll do that when I get the extra rubber bumper back there just for that added support 
I've got a water port I want to try to mount on here. I'm thinking back here somewhere, something I'm not going to keep on the truck all the time since it's sort of hard to secure to keep it from getting stolen. And I'm going to see if I can get my axe and shovel mounted on here since I, of course, am not currently running the bed rack. So don't forget to install the end caps for the bed rail and your two OEM cleats. Oh, you guys are going to love this. As I was cleaning up, I found the missing longer bolt for that third bumper. It was stuck to the bottom, meaning underneath of my magnetic tool tray here, which I love this thing, but definitely got the better of me today. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off real quick and get that last rubber bumper installed. And just to show you guys real quick, I did go ahead and decide to mount my water port on here using the I can't remember if these are the Quick Fist Long Arms or the Super Quick Fist. I'll put a link for them in the description after I figure that out. And once I got these into position where I wanted the water port pretty much centered up on the rack, took it down and nothing fancy on the back side, just holding the hardware for the Quick Fist. A couple of nylocks and washers, stainless steel. This is bedline steel, that flat bar you can get at Home Depot. Nothing too expensive, just simple. It will get it done. I'll go ahead and get this remounted and get the water port on there. And there's the water port mounted. Now I'm not gonna leave this on the truck all the time since I don't really have a way to secure it. I guess I could put like steel cable around it, but that can easily be snipped. So there it is with the quick fist. I do believe these are the long arms. Super useful for stuff like this. It's mostly parallel with the top. I can tighten these a little bit more, but I'm literally just slapping this on here just to show you guys. So not too paranoid about the fitment, but there it is right there. And of course the hose attaches over here on the other side. I've got enough room to maybe put like a mini quick fist to hold the hose if it's sort of looped together with a Velcro tie. Even with the water port in the middle, taking up obviously most of the space, so I have plenty of room right there on the right side and even more on the other side to mount stuff. I'll probably, depending on like what type of wheeling trip I'm going on, I'll probably go back and forth with either bringing the water port, I guess if I'm going camping, or taking that off and putting some regular size quick fists on here so I can mount my axe and shovel. That will obviously fit perfectly down the middle. But wait, there's more. And I was feeling a little bit productive, so I went ahead and mounted my new Rotopax fuel packs on here. I think this one is the two and a half gallons. Not even full right now. Got the driver's side of the bed reserved for fluids with water and gasoline. And just like with the water port, I'm not gonna keep this on the truck all the time just because I don't want to mess with having to worry about securing it and having someone walk off with it, so I'll just slap that on there when I'm going wheeling or on some kind of extended trip. But I will leave the mount on there and I slid the water port down just a little bit, eating up a little of that space so I could get the packs to fit in there. And I still have some space with the Molly grid on the right side of the water port to mount something small. And that will do it for this video. Everybody had to change because it got pretty nasty out here. I'm already working on a good redneck tan for the upcoming summer. Stay safe out there. Practice social distancing. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.